as a practicing psychiatrist, I deal with this issue of um, suicidality every day in my clinical practice. And it's, it's one of the really challenging problems in, in our field. It's a preventable cause of death. Uh, over a million people a year um, worldwide are lost to suicide. And in recent years, in the United States, we've had an upsurge of suicide in veterans and in active duty military. So it's, it's an issue that um, is um, a tragedy for the people involved, a tragedy for their families, and um, a tragedy for us as a field uh, in the sense that we don't have better tools to intervene early and stop some of those things from happening. As a researcher, uh, my group has worked over the years in terms of developing blood tests for psychiatric disorders as a way of having something objective to predict who's at risk. The approach was to look into the blood samples from patients who have a major mood disorder, bipolar disorder, manic depressive disorder. These um, individuals are at high risk for suicidality. And we've compared um, people with bipolar disorder who had no suicidal ideation versus people who had high suicidal ideation and looked what's different in their blood in terms of uh, biochemical changes. Then we had an additional group of suicide completers. These were blood samples from people who actually committed suicide that we got from the Marion County's coroner's office. And when we matched the two lists, we came up with a list of suspects, of markers that we think may be involved in suicide, things that are changing the blood and can constitute the basis of a blood test. So to verify that um, these markers, this um, suspects do have um, uh, predictive ability for suicide, we tested in additional cohorts of um, psychiatric patients whether those that had high levels versus those that had low levels of these markers had down the road more or less hospitalizations for suicidal behavior. And we found that indeed our markers predicted who would have more suicidal behavior in the future. So. We, we think we've discovered a set of markers that are um, useful to identify along with other risk factors uh, who may be at risk for um, having suicidal behavior in the context of having mood disorders and in the context of having an impulsive um, um, behavior. Um, we are now conducting additional research to see uh, if these markers or other markers apply to other types of suicide as well. Um, there are other types of suicide where people um, do not um, externalize their behavior, do not state that they are suicidal. They just quietly plan and then commit suicide, which comes as a surprise to those who are close to them. So we think that by putting all the pieces of the puzzle together, having a blood test and having this other clinical and um, demographic characteristics, in the long run we'll be able to come up with uh, a risk profile that would permit us to intervene early and um, f uh, counsel and follow up more closely and if need be hospitalize those that are at risk. So in the end we avert this preventable tragedy.